check the trailer. We're ready to go. Check the, the lights. Everything's good. Everything's still strapped up. We are ready to roll. We still got a five hour trip back to Austin. Oh, look what it takes. So, let's take it nice and slow. And Burger King, which is not healthy at all, but I am hungry. And if y'all haven't noticed, maybe I've slimmed down a little bit more, but I've been working out and uh, haven't been drinking soda, not as much beer, and not no fast food, honestly. Um, but right now we're just real hungry. We haven't ate since nine, and um, there's really not much to choose from right now in this road trip. So we're just gonna munch on something. We make sure we got waters and. I'm not gonna even eat my fries, but we are in the drive-thru waiting for our food and we should be back on the road here soon. It's 8, 10. This is only making the trip longer, but uh, we're gonna take it slow because we wanna get back on site. Guys, it is uh, 12 in the morning right now. Well, 12 at night, but since it's Sunday already, 12 in the morning at the OBS. This is this will be the last pump of the night. We're in Temple, Texas, so we are about 40, 45 minutes away. Um, I'm just ready to get home and go to sleep and tomorrow morning we'll unload the OBS. I'm just gonna get home today and knock out, go to sleep. We'll take care of this tomorrow, unloading it and everything. But um, yeah, here, here she is. The OBS. I'm gonna also be washing my, my friend's truck since he let me borrow it today. We're gonna make sure it's filled up with diesel and make sure the blue diff is is uh filled up as well. I ended up buying these spare tires for my for my trailer just in case I had a blowout and thank god the tires hold it up, everything's good. Uh even the tires on the Cummins hold it up, everything's good, we didn't have any blowouts, so we still got 30, 30 to 40 minutes to get back home, but uh from here now from here down it's easy to 
hardly any cars in the highway right now. So, uh, yeah, we'll be washing the OBS tomorrow. We'll be washing both the trucks. Um, I really like it. It really reminds me of my old OBS that I had. So, hopefully this one comes out good if we keep it and do stuff to it. And we'll do some stuff to it to where we end up selling it. It'll cost some, uh, some buyers attention like the other red one had lots of attention because of the drop the rims and red you know red really pops out so uh we're gonna go ahead and start heading back home look that's how cheap gas is 54 dollars on a diesel and we were empty 27 gallon tank at 197 uh a gallon Just made it home. Finally made it home, guys. I'm unloaded tomorrow. We just had it parked right now. Unlock the door.
shop and the buyer that's coming for the truck was gonna come at three but i was gonna have to leave work early so instead i just asked my boss if i could bring my personal truck out to the job site since uh, in my job uh, i drive a bucket truck i don't really drive my personal vehicle to the job site and he said that's fine and that way the buyer can come uh earlier since it's close by and uh buy it uh, that way he just manual ready for you the titles in there the keys that way when he shows up he can just test drive it while i'm working that's my bucket right there we're gonna be working here at this intersection and uh yeah we're gonna be waiting for him we are out here tying up some, some span wire we are gonna be running some uh number six power for the intersection behind me that we are re-running the wire since we are taking the ground boxes out so We're gonna work until the dude comes and be ready to sell him the truck. And I really wish I had a GoPro so y'all could like watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna get one though. What's up? Hey, the guys up in the alarm in the bag. 